To get out of college you know you're spending so much freaking money on this tuition it should be worth your investment right and to me i looked at college as an investment because it definitely wasn't easy for my family to be paying this this money out of their pocket uh, for me to attend the school and my thing was i have to get a good job so that way um, it was worth kind of going to the school and like struggling and studying really hard for so I felt like economics gave me a lot of doors. I could apply for jobs in finance, I could apply for jobs in consulting, I could apply for jobs in, um, in marketing, in business operations, as an analyst at any really Fortune 500 company, whatever, it just gave me a lot of different options. And I think when you apply as an economics major in a business role, it looks better than you know having a pure liberal arts major without any kind of quantitative um, course. Um, without any kind of like, you know, it's, it looks better if you're applying for like a business strategy or even marketing role to have a more of a quantitative major because then the companies already know that you're able to process quantitative information quickly and that's really what business is, right? It's a lot of um, data and numbers. So I'm really glad I majored in economics and I think that if you don't know what to major in, you should basically find a major that you're good at and um, will reflect well in your GPA, as well as give you a large array of career opportunities um, that you want to go into. So if you want to major in women's studies, just realize that um, if you do major in women's studies, that you'll probably be only be able to apply to jobs that are relating to that women's studies major. Do like multimedia studies and realize that um, your job opportunity will probably be limited to that kind of major, right? Whereas somebody with more quantitative and hard skills could probably apply to a lot of different jobs um, and have like a whole breadth to choose from. So um, one regret that I did, one regret that I had was I really wanted to study computer science. I did a, you know, I did some programming when I was younger, and I've always loved technology and um, both my parents, um, you know, program. So I wanted to do that, but I think I was a little bit intimidated because the curve in computer science was very, very bad. And um, I didn't want to ruin my GPA any more than it was. My GPA, because the freshman year, I just took a lot of classes I wasn't very good at. Um, it wasn't very strong. And so I wanted to take as many classes to boost up my GPA than to lower it down and I knew if I had done computer science, it would have lowered my GPA. So I do wish now in retrospect, maybe I should have chosen a school that, you know, the first semester, the first year, the GPA doesn't count or something where you could take classes pass fail. I don't know, but it was just always like that fear of failure that prevented me from taking those classes. But I feel like even if I didn't get a good grade in those, having that coursework would help me in any kind of job opportunities I wanted. Being able to program, I think is really important, um, especially if you want to work in tech and business. Um, just because you know everything we do is now online and everything is like technology based so that's one thing I do regret doing but your year of college was like the most worst time of my life for many 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 reasons um, but the winter of junior year of college was the absolute worst time of my life uh, partly because um, for personal reasons something very bad happened and I had to fly to interviews every single day my whole schedule was blocked with interviews for internships and now the internship in your junior year is super 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 important because that is going to give you the offer for senior year so depending on what job you want what school you go to all that kind of stuff usually they select from the pool of juniors to high give full-time internships to right because it's less risky to give a job offer to someone who's worked at your company for three months than it is um, someone you just interviewed. So I remember, you know, Monday through Friday, I missed like all these classes. I would be flying to New York and there's always snowstorms and snow delays. And, um, you know, I just, oh my God, I was so, 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 so stressful. I like lost like 10 pounds in that month because I was so stressed out. And then you're interviewing, and then after one interview, you have a second round interview, and then you have a third round interview. So there's just so many like different cuts, and um, you have to read, like I did a lot of finance interviews, so you have to read all the Wall Street Journal, and like really understand what's going on in the markets. 
And honestly, I had no interest in that kind of finance. I still don't have interest in that kind of thing so much. Um, simply because I never had any real world business experience. I didn't really know exactly what things were going on. But um, eventually I also interviewed in consulting jobs and um, consulting was something I really wanted to do because I love technology and I love like working with businesses and I love business. It's just so fascinating to me. And so I did work at a consulting firm my um, junior year and I was really happy because only like, you know, three or four people from my school got it. Um, but you know, to get that job, I had to hustle really hard actually for any opportunities simply because I didn't have anything that stood out super well. Like I didn't have any really great research. I didn't have that high of a GPA. Um, I didn't have great teacher recommendations. So what I did was I just like made sure that I went to all the information sessions that your school will host and um, made sure to follow up with all the recruiters and follow up with the people who um, I talked to at the information sessions and you know, get advice from alumni and career people who are above me in my year to talk to, ask about their experience and things like that. So um, I really think that helped me get the interview and I think it helped me put my foot in the door and I think also the decisiveness. I was pretty decisive that I wanted to do consulting so I told them like this is what I want to do and I want to become partner at your firm and all this kind of stuff. So um, I think decisiveness is very very important and it's a really good quality for you know people for, inter for employers to look for because I would rather take you, even if you're a worse applicant, if you know that you wanna work for this company for a while um, and that you're invested in coming back for a full-time offer. So I did the internship. I was in Washington, D.C. Um, I learned so much, had a lot of fun. It was a great time of my life. And then a senior year comes back and I get an offer from the company. And so I decide to take it and then I graduate um, early from, from school. So I worked at that company for a year. And you know, honestly, leaving college and going to the real world is so different. Nobody handholds you in the real world. Nobody gives you really anything in the real world. The real world can be brutal. Um, I really like the real world simply because I really didn't have that great of a college experience. Um, but, uh, you know, I also think that, you know, my parents did pay for my tuition, but they didn't really pay for anything else. Um, so, you know, when I was in high school, I worked jobs at Starbucks and Target and the Limited and, uh, where else did I work? I just worked all these like retail, fast food, like barely minimum wage jobs, um, from such a young age. So it taught me how important it is to be self-sufficient and how to not spend money when you don't need to and really how much effort it takes to make a dollar. And I'm really glad that as soon as I was old enough to drive, my parents forced me to work there because, you know, it taught me that, you know, if you don't sweep the floor right, your bosses are going to yell at you. And if you don't come in on time, your bosses are going to yell at you. And if you sleep in when you're supposed to be opening the Starbucks store at four in the morning, your bosses are going to yell at you and you're going to get fired. And from that kind of work ethic, it really taught me um, that kind of transferred over to being very professional, trying to be on time. You know, if you're going to tell your boss that you're going to get something done, you should better as well get it done, right? And just respect kind of that corporate environment because when you're a youngling in college and you come from like a good school and you have a good major you think that you're the shit and people should bow down to you but then you go from being at the top of your class to now being at the bottom of the totem pole and it's a huge shift and you know people you know in corporate America they do not care what school you went to what degree you have you know you know what sorority you're in they just care about, can you get this stuff done? And um, can you help us make more money? That's really what companies care about. And, and ultimately, you know, to get a job somewhere, you have to bring in more than, um, than you cost. You have to bring in more revenue for the company than it costs for you to, for them to pay for your salary, your insurance, your um, health insurance, whatever. So that's really why, you know, so that's the whole deal of it. That's the reality of job hunting and job searching. And